so in an attempt to clear this backlog, here's a very nice realistic TRC-1001. So we better see what it's doing and what it's not doing, etc. So we'll start with the aerial adapter. Plug it into the test equipment. Try and remove the antenna cap. I expect it's snapped. Plastic on these goes brittle. And yes, they, it has snapped. Uh, by that I mean the uh, retraining. Re retraining. That's what I need. Retaining thing. There we go. So we've got a cap on the charge, we've got a cap on the antenna. The cap for the power was missing. Okay, let's have a look. This comes with its carrying case. The only reason I've not shown the carrying case is his sellotape is now an address to it and I don't want him getting people sending him double glazing salesmen round because <laughs> that's probably what happens realistic TRC 1001 these are a three and a half watt radio so we will start I'll tell you what we'll carry on there's no cap for the aerial there's no cap for the speaker so we'll plug that into our sign up meter and extension speaker etc the squelch on for now and we'll put picture in picture on and so we'll start off in the three watts on, on the three watt scale I'm showing you the wrong instruments we'll start off on the three watt scale so full scale deflection is three watts I'll key up and it is 1.9 I think we can say for no it's 2 this time don't say we've got a dirty connection no it's 2 2 watts deviation wallow is actually correct 2.2 so that's okay frequency should be 27.79125 let's have a look 27 oh it's not on channel 20 Seven nine oh nine three six slightly down, but it's not out of spec. We can hear it receiving that's S9. This the meter on the top of these is not a signal meter, it's relative RF out and it's battery. So in receive, it's battery in transmit, it's relative RF out. So if I key up now, just turn that down, you'll see the meter move across because it's doing. 3 watts plus, 2 watts anyway. And if I put it into low power when it's supposed to be doing 400 milliwatts, the meter will hardly move. And the radio is doing 100 milliwatts. Back to high power, which is at the moment 2 watts. It is not an RF meter. Sorry, it's not an S meter. We'll do that. Now we'll look at the sensitivity. Now these aren't as sensitive as some sets, but then they do have a factory fitted crystal filter. So let's turn it down. Switch the sign meter on and let's look at the sign meter. So at the moment it's doing 0 0.95 microvolts for 12 dB sign -up. And that's a probably where I would expect it to be. You know, I, these don't do 0.3, um, but that's working fine. So yeah, it it could do with doing a bit more power, and of course we'll go through everything, including this frequency thing. All these little things, little bit out here, little bit out there, can all add up to it being out quite a long way.
Now that was an error on my part. It's 2.3 watts. And the reason for that is I've got the power supply on current limit. Okay. We'll switch it off for now. And we'll open it up. So it's a left, left the screwdriver in another room. Can we use this huge screwdriver? Whilst we're here, we'll just look at the battery compartment. It's not bad. I'll just clean it up as a courtesy. What's the date code? 1983. So it's a bit later. And that's good, because the later one has got um, a power preset which helps and there's the power preset so first of all we need to just open that can up and do the frequency this isn't easy to do now these sets can suffer from dry joints but this clearly isn't one of them at the moment that foam has disintegrated. Now, had it been on frequency, I wouldn't have had to go in here. <laughs> We're going to leave the trimmer for the VCO well alone. Somebody asked what does VCO stand for? It's voltage controlled oscillator. Put the power back on. And we'll do the frequency. So there's the reference crystal. There's the trimmer. So that and that are to do with the VCO. Uh, we have covered that many times before, but we won't need to on this occasion. Uh, don't want it quite that high. They do drop with age, but just that little bit too much. That'll do. So we'll turn the power off and attempt to put this back on. So it has a, a side which doesn't have an edge and that goes to the left. There we go. Hopefully we've got a service manual. Well, I know we've got a service manual. It's whether we've got one kicking about. We use a 1005 manual because it's handy. Uh, it's the same, but the apart from the display difference. So the minimum acceptable power so we're doing 2.3 watts is is what is three watts so we need to get that up a bit minimum acceptable sensitivity is one microvolt we're at not point oh yeah we've already exceeded that because it's 10 uh, db cyanide and we we went on 12 db cyanide and it was 0.95 so it already exceeds the uh, worst acceptable specification so there we go that's uh, that's fair enough Very good 
in service manuals on these. So we're going to start with transmitter, we're going to do L5. Wherever that is. So L5. that T6 T7 T6 T7 L8 L9 right switch back on press transmit go back to the right camera it's not that is it of course it's not it's L L5 how can it be that one Anyway, it says it is. See, you don't, just don't get enough of these. T6. T7. Two and a half watts. Let me use the white tool. It's not that, it's that. It's that one which is the never touch one. Then we'll see where we are with this uh, adjustable power preset. Right. So 3.4 watts it's doing. So I'll just run through these again. Three point five in a tiny fraction. Yep. So we'll pop that power preset down a very small fraction. The radio is drawing zero point nine five of an amp. So let's make sure we're within spec on that. So it's one amp is the maximum. They'd like it to be 700 milliamps, but one amp. So we're at 950 milliamps. So we're within spec there for the three and a half watts output. Good. Deviation is spot on. Check that the RF power on low power is between 0.1 and 0.4 watts. So we'll switch to low power. It's 170 milliwatts, so that's within. It's not adjustable on these radios. Now they want you to set 1.5 kilohertz deviation, which of course we're not going to do. But it's variable resistor 1. Variable resistor 1 is the one up there. So I know it's okay. Well, 
Where is my little um, oscillator that we use? It's gone for a walk. Oh well, we'll have to do the wallow instead. Wow. Wow. That's it. I thought that would be a little fraction up. So we've done that. Done that. So I said the meter isn't adjustable on these. So that's the transmitter done. It's, it's um, unusual not to have one of these with a dry joint because they do, and the, the dry joints tend to be between the two sides of the board, and you end up taking the screen plates off. So it can be a bit of a pain. It can be a lot of a pain. Um, the harmonic trap is L12. So, second harmonic, L12, yes it is that cause, we're not going to touch that because it needs going on the spectrum analyzer. There's no need to do that because the radio clearly hasn't been messed with. It won't do that on its own. So receiver, although there's less steps, there's more, it's, I suppose it's more involved. Or you need more equipment to do it. So 2779125, we'll just make sure that's set up exactly on the signal generator. It is. So first of all, we're going to put an S9 equivalent signal on, which is there. And we're going to set the recovered audio, which is T4, the one I've been messing with, hence it's sounding rubbish. If you remember, I was fiddling with that one, I should have been touching that one. So we'll never will know whether it was slightly out or not. Right, that's corrected my error. So T1, T2, T3 and T5. I'll turn the volume down a fraction. T1, 2, 3 and 5. So T1, T2, T3, T5. So let's take the signal down a fraction on the cyanide meter. So here we go, T1, I don't think there's any difference there, T2, Let's change that, for a higher one it might be easier to read. one of those which is easy to read slight improvement there T4 shot with the biggest signal And then finally, T5. Try that on a lower signal. Higher signal. That's about it.
get a, a new reading then. Yeah, it's 0.95. For 10 TB, it's 0.85. So there's no change. Does it do 20 at all? Some radios don't. Yeah, it does. It does it for 3 microvolts. She might receive another 10 feet on it now. This is the first one of these in years that hasn't had to have real dry joint hunting. Now do we have to set the squelch? No. Let's see where the what the if the squelch is working I think is more to the point on this. So turn the squelch to full see when it comes in So we're at 3 microvolts, 10 microvolts it comes in. So it's a bit weak, but it's a walkie-talkie, isn't it? It's not a base station. So now we'll look at the other side. I'm going to park the signal generator at 0.3 of a microvolt, put it to standby, turn the squelch down to threshold. You know, considering this is, what, 30, 38, 39 years old, it's immaculate, isn't it? Let's see when we can get it to come in. Comes in at 1.3 microvolts. It leaves it 0.16. So work, yeah, it works fine. Well, that's uh, that's the easiest job for a, a month. So we'll unplug the extension. Yeah, it's working on its own speaker. We'll pop the screws back in. Mr. Chippy comes back tomorrow, so we will do a scratchy corner test with all these before we send them back. So the next video is going to be on some little two channel fifth of a watt um, Harvard 020 sets, two have come in for service and uh, that could be quite challenging. Now we do have a service manual so that helps. Okay, so now I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll put it on the aerial and we'll see whether we can hear anybody in another town. Seeing as we're in the middle of nowhere. One nine, Roger. So the display extinguishes after a couple of seconds. 
you can bring it on with the black button fades out save battery power there's somebody there about 40 miles away same with 36 Channel 9 with an echo. One and a Roger. No. Nope. Okay, well, that's working beautifully. So we'll do an on the air test when Mr. Chippy comes back. And then it can go back to the customer. So thank you for watching the realistic 19. <laughs> the realistic TRC 1001, which. There were a 1981 model, but this particular one is final production 1983.